Back with me, Glenn Kirshner, April Ryan, and Reverend Al Sharpton. Glenn, let, let, let's talk about this Adult Survivors Act. Uh, Kathy Hochul, Governor Kathy Hochul of New York, signed it into law in 2022. And it's actually been a boon to victims of sexual assault. Uh, more than 2,500 lawsuits filed. Uh, it, gives a, it gave a year for people to come in, and it, it, it got rid of uh, the, you know, the statute of limitations. E. Jean Carroll was one of the first to use it. But it's also been used by people who have accused the criminal justice system in New York. Um, uh, of them having survived rape under the criminal justice system. Some of the people who've been accused uh, include Harvey Weinstein, Sean P. Diddy Combs, Bill Cosby, Russell Brand, Rudy Giuliani. Talk about the power of this law and E. Jean's place in history, uh, E. Jean Carroll's place in history for using it this way. You know, Joy, it's so important because in sexual offense crimes, in rape cases, I, I handled rape cases, I handled... Uh, sexual assault of children. You know, ordinarily, people do not rush forward to share their victimization with anybody, not with law enforcement. Can you imagine being sexually assaulted and then sitting down and laying bare the experience you just went through with strangers, police officers, grand jurors, prosecutors, trial jurors in a public forum? where the audience could be packed with people who were there to support the perpetrator. Is it any wonder that people are reluctant to come forward when they have been the victim of sexual assault? And then what do they get for actually reporting and following through with a prosecution? They get raked over the coals and they get called lie a liar about what happened to them, just like E. Jean Carroll suffered? Is it any wonder there is at best delayed reporting of sexual crimes? You know, it, it's so important, I think, that we open it up and we give victims a fair opportunity to have their, victim, their victimization addressed and to have their perpetrator held accountable. So, uh, and now you are seeing how it can bear fruit because Donald Trump has now been held accountable for his sexual mm -hmm. battery, which the first jury found he, in fact, committed, and for his repeated incessant defamation by lying about what he had done to E. Jean Carroll. So I applaud the state of New York and the lawmakers who saw the mm -hmm. wisdom of opening it up, op opening it up and actually supporting sexual assault victims. Indeed, and I and I applaud E. Jean Carroll for being brave enough to step out there because she didn't just accuse some anonymous person; she accused a former president of the United States and somebody who is sort of acts like a mobster, not even sort of, who has a, a habit of behaving like a mobster and has a a cult. So God bless her for doing that. Um, April, this is one of the largest defamation payouts. I just want to put up some of the largest defamation payouts. Alex Jones, who also has not paid his victims, uh, Fox News, seven hundred eighty-seven million. ABC News, 177. Rudy Giuliani, $148 million for defaming Rudy, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. If Donald Trump um, paying his, it can, you know, pay after the $83 million, and then, of course, if he ends up paying some $300 million to the state of New York, if he responds to that by declaring bankruptcy, which he's done multiple times, uh, Roberta Kaplan did talk about that. Four times he's declared bankruptcy. I don't know if people would think he was such a rich and important guy if they knew how many times he was bankrupt. What do you think that does to the politics of Donald Trump if suddenly he's the bankrupt, mm. not quite billionaire? Well, he was bankrupt in the past and came back to win and win again and win again. But this time is so public and people understand what's going on, Joy. And right now, the win has turned into a big L, loser. And he's so harsh on this brand. I am Donald Trump. I'm a winner. This is a huge loss. After that first E. Jean Carroll trial, he tried to make it out to be a joke, saying, is this what I'm, they're trying to get me on? And, and some of his followers believed it. But now this sends a powerful blow. His politics are still there. But he's hobbled a bit. He is hobbled a bit. And let's see what happens again and again and again with the rest of these court cases. And if yeah. he can pay, we're going to see who he is, really, an adult tantrum thrower who may or may not have the money, he says, and his politics will go along with that. Is he, if he lies about this, you know, where's his politics? A bunch of lies or just a bunch of fluff? So we'll see what happens Thank down the road. 
Same question to you, Rev. You know the guy. If Would he be able to withstand the idea? Because this isn't his companies being bankrupt. Like before, when Hillary Clinton hit him in the debates and he said, I'm smart. I use the laws as they stand. That was about his companies. This is about him having to pay this money out of his own pockets. And if it turns out he can't do it, then what? How, what's his message then? He, his brand is totally uh, uh, explodes. And I think that you've got to remember his brand is who he is. He lived his whole life. Those of us that knew him in New York, those of us that forward him on cases nationally, his whole brand was, how did he get the apprentice? I'm this great businessman. For him to now have to come forward, even if he claims bankruptcy, he will have to establish that he, in fact, does not have the money he has. He's been lying all along, and he still has the problem of he has to post the bond. He can't change that. He has the bond that he's got to deal with today if he's going to appeal. He's got the bond that he will have to deal with next week when uh, the verdict comes down on his New York state fraud trial and he can come with all he wants, he's going to have to post the bond or he has to pay the judgment. Either way, you're talking about millions and millions of dollars. And it looks like the guy that made his way to The Apprentice will be the one that gets fired as a billionaire in <laughs> front of the whole world. And I think yeah. that that is what he's thinking about on his way to Las Vegas tonight. His whole image is gone. Now, he has a cult, as you say, Joy. His cult followers will be there, but his cult followers cannot come up with the sum of money he's going to have to come up with for this bond.